This is the world's worst font, Daddy. Comic Sans. <laughs> Here's where it came from. So in the 1980s, this dude, Vincent Conair, is a university student in New York City. He's like this young, rebellious fine arts student, and he spends most of his time touring art galleries in Soho. He has this idea. He's like, the difference between good art and bad art is whether or not you stop to look. If you stop to look, it's good. If you don't, it's bad. So he graduates college and goes to work as a typographic engineer at Microsoft. He was asked to make a playful font for their new program, Microsoft Bob. And he was like, huh, playful. And if it's good, it'll stop you in your track. He's looking for inspiration everywhere and he comes across a Batman comic book. He's like, oh, that. So he takes the Batman font to his computer and tries to draw something similar. He delivers Comic Sans to his boss and his boss hates it. He wanted something straighter, more typographic. But Vincent isn't phased. He knows his font is weird. It stands out. And by 1996, it was pre-installed on every Macintosh computer. 